Hey everybody, Jamie Pate here, and thank you so much for being part of this video today. It's the beginning of the month, and in the beginning of the month, I am going to dedicate the space to talking about brand new Heidi Swap stamp release, and also there's very often some new other new things in the shop as well. So I'm ready to share a couple of ideas, some really neat product, and um, just some New Year inspiration. Here we go. All right, if you're taking a look here at your screen, you're seeing a uh, massive product <laughs> spread out here. I was just grabbing stuff and like, oh, I want to share that. Oh, I want to share that. So um, today, for the most part, I want to talk about brand new stamps. Heidi Swap has four brand new stamp sets in the shop right now. Now, if you're watching this in real time in the beginning of January, well, then they're brand new and fresh. If you're catching this video at some other time, they're probably more than likely also in the shop and available because um, the stamps just don't go away. And if they sell out, they try really hard to get them restocked again. So I just want to make that note really quick. But let's just kind of get to it. There is a brand new stamp set called Stop the Blur. Oh my word. I keep saying this over and over again, but I think this is the stamp set I've been waiting for. I've been thinking of sentiments like that, especially like your story matters and tell your story and write it down and Blur's Day. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm going to use this for those days in my planner where I'm just like, I have no idea. I don't even know it just took place. Let me just stamp this on here and move on because sometimes I think we need those kinds of days. Can I get an amen? So I want to share with you how I've used this initially in my planner. So you can see here, I don't want to go too much detail in my planner right now. I will be sharing this more in some upcoming videos. So stay tuned. If you don't subscribe already, that's the best way to find out about new content that I'm putting out here on my channel. So I don't want to get into this too much. This is my January, February planner, and um, we're going to be unpacking this page at another time as well. But what I really want to show you was this little stamp collage card that I made utilizing the brand new Stop the Blur stamp. Now, a couple things really quick before we get too far. Something that is no longer available as part of the stamp set are the sleeves. And I can't even get this out of the sleeve. So you're like, what is the point of the sleeve? Um, so this here, awesome, is a four by six sleeve. You can buy these in the Heidi Swap shop. And so that's what I've done. I've just pre-bought, purchased some. So I like to have my stamps in these sleeves. I think it holds up better when I'm storing them. It protects the stamps, plus they stay better on the stamp backer. So I'm a fan of those. So anyway, I just want to have that little caveat. So be sure to stock up on some sleeves. Um, but this has all kinds of uh, wonderful, wonderful sentiments from, like I already said, your story matters. Stop the blur. Tell your story. Write it down. We all have stories to tell. Amen. Here's a definition of blur. Unforgettable. That's going to be used over and over again, right? Highlights and low points. That's just a great way to wrap up a day, right? What were the highlights of your day? What were the low points? Because it's okay to share what's not completely working because those are really important things to process and to reboot from and to start and make things happen a little bit better. Love this little um, kind of grid sort of stamp and then the dots. Great for journaling on. We have these tiny celebrating with the little, is that a semicolon? I never remember. It's either a colon or a semicolon. Forgive me. I should be better at my grammar than that. But it just, these are great prompts, right? Celebrating. Fill that in. Loving. Plan, stressing, um, list of top priority. That's super useful. Creativity is a way I share my soul with the world. <gasps> oh, can we just land on that for a minute? Because that is so beautiful. Okay, this happened. Today's quote, no one can tell your story the way you do. You can't make this stuff up. And then these little um, pull lift inside story that I used here. So I use a little lift there and I'll be filling that in, especially as January moves on. But then I just took two... I'm using the palette that I've chosen for this month, and then I just collaged out the Stop the Blur stamp. That's just one way to use it. We're going to be using this all kinds of ways as we go forward. All right. Now, we are here for the agenda stamps this year, right? February agenda. Now, if you don't have this stamp set yet... January agenda. Well, currently, as I'm speaking right this second, 
it is not in stock. If you don't have it, I highly suggest go in and click notify so you can get an email when it's available. This is going to be a set that I will be using again and again this year. It's just going to stay in my, I call it my, my, like my active stamp pile because it's stamps that I keep reaching for. Well, look at this. Now we have February and just to take note of what this is going to be going forward. So of course you're going to have the, the month, then you're going to have this awesome stamp number that then plays super nicely with this agenda months stamp set. Um, I'll show this to you more in a moment, but this is a must have as well. I've been using this over and over again. It too has a great little journal grid as well. Just want to make sure I point that out. Okay. And then you have a word. It's like the word of the month, right? New love. That's super awesome. You got awesome, beautiful icons. This was the champagne bottle and the glass. And here you have crowns. Love it. And you also have um, the, the clock with great encouraging words like you got this and keep going that go inside. I'll show that to you in a moment as well, how I use that. So then there's definitions. There's always several definitions and just great sentiments. Be a seeker of everyday magic, right? Um, be you bravely. She believed she could, so she did. Always believe something wonderful is about to happen. Believe, magic, brave. Beauty begins the moment you start to be yourself. The struggle is part of the story. That is the truth. Okay, wonderful prompts, wonderful stamps. Okay, so what I've done to start is I just kind of played around with, it's kind of hard to see because um, these stamps are so soft. I mean, the inks are so soft, but you get the idea. So there's the number, and then I use the agenda months to go inside. There's believe. I popped up the little sentiment for the clock, which was fun. I added that striped washi, which is just a favorite, favorite of mine. I came in here a little bit on the edges, if you can see that with the um, distress stamp. That was an older stamp. I used the love as my big tag, or actually as an extra tag here. And so that's what I did to begin um, crafting with the February captions. And then as part of the process here at, at the almost end of this video, I will be creating another tag. So this is February captions. The new six by eight stamp set is called Punny Valentine. Now I want to point out as well, do you see at the top there? It's the name of the stamp set. I don't know why that makes me giddy. But it does. I love having the name of the stamp set on my stamp. So that was new this year. Want to point that out. Good news. Good news. I got to share the good news, right? Okay. So what I did to just start playing with this stamp set was first, I just had a piece of paper. And I was just stamping um, what to me kind of went together because there's like a lot of themes on here. Everything from free hugs. Hi, I love you with this little speech bubble and the lips to um, this fan icon here with number one fan. I'm your biggest fan. Fantastic. Super fan to get the idea you blow my mind. I thought that was like a fun theme. Then the whole pizza, pizza, treat yourself, hot and cheesy, pizza, um, forever and always. Then you had these eyeglasses, which were super fun. Hello, gorgeous, hard eyes, again, with the forever and always, or I only have eyes for you. And so I just kind of was grouping them. I did this little lollipop here. I'm a sucker for you. Sugar sweet. Um, I licked it. So it's mine. Love this. Okay. So that's just a couple. I mean, there's lots of themes here, but I just want to point out a couple. So then what I did is I just used those same themes and played around with some stamp making. I used this, the, um, sucker stamp here and I popped it up. I then fancy, fancy, fussy cut. I fussy, I, it, you could be fancy cutting, but I fussy cut it, um, to pop it up there. Cause, and that was kind of a theme I did on a lot of these. I used the, uh, striped, uh, washi again, and then just a little collage of sentiment there. So that's like a fun little Valentine. This is a great card cover. This could just be a tag all in itself. This could be like a gift for a teacher or for somebody who just needs their day brightened and you can wrap it around a package of, of lollipops or C's suckers or whatever it is you find. Um, here is the pizza theme, which was super fun. And then I cut out the, I love you more than, and then pizza of course finishes that sentence. So that gave it some interactive play here. This is um, the ribbons that are in the Heidi Swap shop. Then, of course, with the striped washi, making yet another appearance. And I just collaged the words of pizza, treat yourself, I like it, and forever and always. So super easy tag. Now, while we're talking about tags, really quick, 
I suggest you grab some of these um, gift tags. They're called gift tags in the shops, and I will link these below if you're interested. But that's what I did for these little valentines that I made. I used those tickets there. And here was an ode to the fan. And then I made a little smaller tag that said, I'm your biggest fan. And the number one fan, fantastic. And you blow my mind. And I did that on an inked tag that came from this set. And then, um... I think I only did four. I guess I only did four. No, I did five. This was kind of fun. I did the glasses, right? And then I popped up the lenses and it was just fun. And I made that like the extra little tag to the longer tag. I only have eyes for you forever and always. Oops, can we see that? Here we go. Let's get some, there we go with some focus. Get it, focus, glasses, yeah. Okay, and the last one that I did that I wanna share with you was I used the speech bubble, the lips. I popped the lips up, gave it a little bit of color around the edges. So I didn't just give it a single color. I just kind of played with a little bit and then the scandalous looking good the killing it and hello gorgeous my heart now this kind of a thing is not in and of itself specific valentine right i mean i can see us using these throughout the year to incur i mean any of this even the number one fan right i love you more than pizza yes we're going to definitely want to use these for valentines i know i'm going to i'm already started but i'm seeing these be seasonless i love stamps that are seasonless or sentiments that are going to go far on a page on a tag or what have you so those are the three stamp sets that I have. There is a last stamp set. It's called Valentine Captions. I do not have it in my possession yet. It'll probably be its own YouTube when I do get it because I have seen it. It is in the shop. It's fantastic. That one looks so good. Okay, before I get to the processing part of the video, there's just a couple things that are brand new in the shop. I only want to take a moment to talk about these because I'm sure I will talk about these more in the future. Now, these are page sleeves. There are four different page sleeves. Um, here I have, or there might be five actually. Here I have the five by seven. And then I also have the four by eight that are two by two windows uh, or pockets, if you will. And then I have the three by four. Is that three by four? I'm looking, I'm measuring this right now before it, I don't think this is exactly three by four. Um, so I think that this is the two by three, two by three. This is two by three. What I don't have yet are the three by four. Okay. let me show you really quick how I use this. So here's a little peek into my December planner page. Um, okay. This was a day that I had all kinds of photos, which is really happening a lot lately. So what came in handy? That four by eight pocket. I don't have the backs in there yet, but I do have the fronts all filled in. I used photos. Then of course I used um, the sticker book stickers. And I also use these brand new mailbox alpha stickers. I love these stickers. I have here to show you, I have the pink and I have the yellow. There's also a black. Aren't they awesome? They're great. So I just made that like my little tab. And then you have all this real estate left in your um, memory planner. So I wanted to share the page sleeves with you because I thought they're great. I just thought they're great and you need to see them. Okay, I am going to create a tag to lay over this hometown holiday tag, just the bottom part. I want the pink to show. I'm just trimming that out of some regular white cardstock. And then later on, I'll show you how it will be sewn to that tag. I just got to trim up my edges here. I have a tabletop scoreboard here that I'm going to make a pocket with this vellum. And you're going to see I go right through the seam on this vellum pocket. So be super careful when you are scoring your vellum because that's going to happen. So I have just kind of eyeballed the size that I need for this tag because I'm going to place it on my month at a glance. And I'm going to do this for every month. I think I already did it for January. And now I'm actually kind of pre-prepping the month at a glance for February. So I love when that can happen. So then it's just going to be uh, attached to that page. And um, here's a little thing I've been doing. Now, I don't do this all the time, but I really am loving a stamp platform for precision stamping. And sometimes I go freehand, but for this tag, I just wanted to share with you how sometimes I use a stamp platform. And I'm going to build from the bottom up on this stamp with these colors here. And I'll talk about them as each of the layers make their way onto this um, tag. 
bag. So I'm going to start with that two there and one of the lightest colors, which is the pumice stone. And uh, what's so great, as you're going to see throughout this little quick demonstration, is that you know once you get that stamp in place, you can go back over it. That's the precision part, right? And create a really nice, crisp image. I really like that for, for some of my stamping. Again, sometimes I'm just going right in there freehand. But there's the love with the tattered rose. There's the February with the lumberjack uh, plaid. And then, of course, you got to have a crown in there. And that is going to be with um, sponge sugar. Is So those are kind of the colors as well as Victorian velvet that I'm using for, if you will, my February palette. And then there's the believe that's going to be Victorian velvet. And you're going to see here how I'm going back over this a couple times to just make sure that that image is um, layered on there as good as I want now for some definitions. Um, this is always fun to layer in these definitions for the believe. Just a great stamp set. It's going to be used all year round. I don't think it's just for Valentine's Day at all. There's just some good sentiments. I mean, I'm thinking of like encouraging cards and tags for other people in our lives who just might need to hear a word of encouragement. So a great set for that. So that's kind of how this tag came together. Thank you so much for watching this. As we finish out, you're going to see how it's going to live now on my month at a glance. And if you have any questions, as always, please let me know your questions. And I am for sure going to see you in the next video.